they are Nigerian men, Igbo men, Awosa men, Yoruba men. They are Nigerian men. Come, let us talk. All the Nigerian men in Europe, not only in Germany, not only in Italy, generally, come, let us talk. As an Igbo woman and a Nigerian woman, a proper Nigerian woman, men in Nigeria represent protection. One of the reasons every woman, every Nigerian woman marries a man is to an extent that she's able to get moral protection. She's able to get financial protection, physical protection, financial protection, emotional protection. That is how our community trained all of us. So the woman then was to stay home to make sure that everything is, you know, taken care of at home. Why the man go out there to hustle, to bring something for us to eat. Don't come here and come and say, uh, the world have changed. Even before you, the Europe that you see today got here, there was a time that system of a woman sitting down at home and the husband is a everything. The husband protected her and the kids. It also happened here in Europe. Now we have come to Europe and our men have turned against us. They have totally turned against us. And this is because of money. Money. Money and money. I don't want to believe that there's any other thing. Now, the video that I made day before yesterday had nothing to do with the disagreement between Nigerian men and Nigerian women or Africa as a whole. So this man made this comment on my video saying that Nigerian men, sorry, saying that Nigerian women are baby factories. And I wasn't, I wasn't replying him because of the, the what he said. I actually replied him because of those who are at the receiving end in Germany. When a man and a woman have misunderstanding, the people who receives it most, mostly the people that are that are not that are mostly affected are the kids. This is because the kids are still growing up. As a woman, if a man say no do again, uh uh if the love, if the love is very, very high, if I have put in so much, if I have sacrificed so much, if I've given so much, I might be heartbroken. And at a time, with time, I will start learning how to live without that man. I will survive. But you see kids that are still tender, kids that are still growing, that are not adults, they don't even know how to handle things like that. So my reply, based on that comment yesterday, was not about women. I wasn't defending women. I wasn't defending the men. I was defending our kids, especially our black kids here in Europe. <sighs> Born through way. I don't know if you have heard about that thing, Born through way. Born through way are the children where person go born. The person clear eye, go pregnant the woman, him and the woman, they do toss say they don't want but they want they come born because the man won't give the woman paper, or the, the woman won't give the man paper. Then they call those children born through away. <laughs> that is an abomination. Some of us, some of our men, some of our ladies, your first issue, your first daughter, your first son, you can't even account for them. You don't know what is happening to them. You don't know where they are. You don't care. You lock up your heart. Because both of you know that this child that you are bringing to the world, 
you don't need this child you just need something and this child was an avenue was the sacrifice for your stay and hey, you people see him um, after watching after reading all the comments on that video i said let us break the table the table no remain because this table that we are just meant we are just patching everybody just patching it we don't want to say the truth we don't want to treat it so that you will know where to stand so let's break it nigerian men oh let's talk every time baby mama baby mama baby mama nigeria women baby mama baby mama there's nothing again that you can use to accuse nigerian women there's nothing again you can use to disrespect them you will not say they're not hard working there is nothing again. the only thing that baby mama that's the only thing do you know that men can also take medicine so that they're not able to pregnant a woman not the only woman they take medicine or put something for body when we say no go fit get belly men you can also you have the possibility of stopping yourself from impregnating a woman. I don't know the kind of headache. What is the cause the casala? What is the cause the What is the cause of this nonsense? What is what is what is the matter? The woman is short. The woman is, uh, is, 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 is not good. It's the woman's fault. It's Nigerian woman's fault. Nigerian woman here. Nigerian woman there. Nigerian woman everywhere. Please, do you know that you as a man, you can also take pre prevention medicine, like it will prevent you from pregnancy a, a woman. Okay. Just in case you don't know. Now you know. So the video is not about telling you that you and your your baby mama or your baby papa, I don't know where people met, agreed, did what you did. But there was there was a life that there is a life that is created because of the mistake that both of you did. That child is not a mistake. It's your responsibility to take care of that child. Is your responsibility to groom that child? Is your responsibility to train that child in a way that when he or she grows up, you say that is my father and that is my mother. But you don't put, you don't go put the spam. The king don't come. Uh, Kinder girl don't start to cause problem. Uh, the woman not they respect you again. No, we say the woman, the woman not they respect you even the time where we say you, you two of you begin to date. The woman not even get respect. She not get respect. The man not get respect the time where both of you they you they just the manager say, Ah, God, make I just get belly, make I burn this picking, make I get paper. You don't care, but now you don't get the paper. The result, the person that you people sacrifice to get that paper now is there. Are you want to neglect him or her? Nigerian men and women, let me let me just tell you people this. We are not living in Europe, and nobody believes in repercussion. Nobody believes in karma. There is karma. There is repercussion. You see those children that you brought to this world, and you don't want to take care of them. You don't care. You are busy fighting the father of your child. The woman is uh, the man is busy fighting the woman. God will ask you people. God will ask you, the child that you came to collect from me, where is that child? Where is the child I gave you? I was on my own. God was on their own. No, God was in his own, his own. The children are on their own. You people decided to go and bring the child into this world. And when it now comes to the time, for you to act like a father, to be there as a father, you will not say, ah, the woman don't have respect. The woman do this one. You will not start giving excuses. You will not say, ah, the boy did not do like this. The boy did not do like this. You will start giving excuses. I don't care what people are doing. I don't care what you, both of you, did. 
I don't care how you do yourselves. But I want each and every one of you to start thinking about the children that you have brought into this world. That is all.